Hello. Hello, hello. And just right when I started. Kitty is gone. Poco. Were you planning that? Poco, you're disappointing me. Poco. Where are you now? <sighs> well, anyways, hey. <laughs> Hello, Hoko. Goodbye, Hoko. Hey, Lucid. How is it going? Looking around. Underneath the table right now. Hoko, I'm here. Why not? Okay. An orca, I say. Yes, indeed. In the clouds, even. What was that? What's that noise going on there? Ah, for fuck's sake. <sighs> if I hear it again and then I will I will check it out. But yes. The plan for today is to make another speed paint. Or at least like Kind of speedy. Like, probably not gonna be very fast, but that's that's okay. Speedy to me is like I don't. It doesn't take me ten hours or more. Like the last one did. But yeah. <clears throat> so you you already can see a sketch. I want to uh, change the sketch a little bit um, because I am not too pleased with this um, composition right now. Um, I'm gonna probably get rid of the small ones and just have a large one and also want to change the pose of the large one to be a bit more upright and kind of twisty in a way. I don't know. We'll see what I... What I will be able to accomplish. But yeah, and orcas because well I I know how to draw them and made the tutorial about them, so why not why not draw more of them? But yeah. Also I'm gonna apologize in advance. I'm probably gonna be very burpy this stream because I just ate and just made sure that I had, I had some sort of sustenance right before the stream and my timing is not really re really good and so ate a huge meal just now. Excited to see how this one turns out. Oh, that's that's good to hear. I'm glad. I'm happy that you're also excited. Yeah, so <clears throat> as for the cloud types, they are going to be mostly um, like alto cumulus clouds. So they have, they're probably, uh, not probably, they're going to have this kind of pattern, this kind of stripey pattern. And they look very spotty and small. And so this is what this kind of wavy texture is all about um, this is, is supposed to give me some kind of frame um, where I will paint uh, the clouds in and what kind of pattern has a burp counter <laughs> yeah uh, maybe that would be good for me too but uh, upholding it, it Seems to be a bit too much of a hassle. I'm just lazy. <laughs> How come it's just. Are you still over there? Still under the table? Come on. Really? 
sitting under the table, wagging her tail, not doing anything. <sighs> but yeah. We'll see how this is gonna turn out. So. I would like to erase some stuff. So goodbye little one. Sorry, but Um I want to keep this one rather simple. Very simple actually. So we're just gonna have the clouds with the sky uh, at the horizon. And a huge orca just 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 swimming around and twisting around out of the clouds and supposed to be l looking really huge and far in the distance let's see how it will how it will do so i'm gonna erase this because i want to have this on the other layer oh yeah there you can also see my perspective grid that i used Kind of as a rough guide. Don't need it right now, though. This is where the horizon line is gonna be. The further we are going to into the distance, the less we will be able to see this kind of cloud pattern because it's all just blending into just just some plain color there. so as for the orca itself let's continue this a little bit Bye. I want to change this too. And as I said, conveniently, I already kind of know how to paint orcas, so I'm just gonna start with this kind of. I don't know how to even describe this this shape. This kind of long shape that is getting thinner. The the closer we get to the tail end. And then I extend it even more and make it slightly pointier. It's gonna be the head. <gasps> there we go. That was the first burp. I'm still too shy to just let my burps, just let them out during a stream, even though I don't really care, but I don't know. Well, I do care, that, that's why I'm too shy to just let them out. But whenever I watch some other people, I don't mind, or it's actually funny. But well, so <clears throat> you can see it's kind of a bit more upright this time. Uh, Also, trying to make it look like it's twisting around. Maybe not too much, though.
kind of hiccup, kind of. It's just the kind of the the noise when I don't just let my burp out, but kind of try to kind of suppress it, and it sounds like a hiccup. I don't even know. It's nice to draw orcas again. I do like them. I mean, that's why I made a tutorial for them. But they are also very simple to draw. They are not as complicated as cats or wolves or something like that. And be simplified with various easy, simple shapes. They're beautiful creatures. So it's been a while since the last time I streamed. Last week I've been, I, I admit, kind of lazy. I just mostly played video games. Well, it, it was a break for me too. And sometimes I need a break, although that was a bit too much of a break, I, I have to say. But oh well. What matters is that I'm back and I'm productive again, making paintings, scripting and all that stuff. I'm mostly done with the script of the next videos that I actually wanted to release way earlier, but oh well. Then gaming addiction, uh, addiction happened. Addiction happened. So that was strangely difficult for me to pronounce. <clears throat> Been picking up my hobbies again this week, yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's blame the heat, shall we? <laughs> it hasn't been that terrible over here, but... Um, I did some sweating. Some sweating. A little bit. Let me clip this over here. All right. Yeah. One of the things that I suck at drawing uh, on the orcas is the the back fin. So it's very convenient that it's just underneath the clouds. Just don't have to don't have to care. So it's also gonna leave some kind of trail behind. Wait. Uh yeah, it's 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 turning this way, so Gonna leave a trail over here and then when it kind of comes from the back. 
And this is just like some, a rough guideline. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. What, what the hell is that noise? Sounds like something is knocking on my window or something. I missed the freaking pigeons again. Being weird. I assume it was just the wind. The windows that I have are double windows. They're really old and crappy, but at least have two window layers. Um, and I had the, the outer one open while the inner one was closed and maybe the wind caused it to kind of shake a little bit and make some noise. So I closed also the outside window. So, well, the, the pose and the shape of this one seems okay. Now, as for the composition, where do I want to place it? Uh, middle, not so good. It's just composition wise, it's. I mean, kind of works, but it's nicer if it's kind of like in a corner, like over here. Over here, it does. It's no. It has to be over here. It has to be further the back, of course, because it's supposed to be it's supposed to look very huge. Yep, that's it for the composition. There's nothing else I'm planning than adding. Uh, I want to keep this more minimalistic. We'll see how it will turn out. There are not gonna be any any mountains or any visible islands underneath the clouds or whatever birds flying around, airplanes. Aliens, I don't know. Nothing, nothing of that kind. So. Layer management. Okay, is still under the table? Yeah. Fire is still over there. <sighs> okay. This is also supposed to be a sunny day, so we're gonna have a lot of blue. There will be blue in the sky and also underneath the clouds because we're just gonna be mainly over the sea. Just to keep it even more simple or I don't want to create some kind of land surface textures. Now it's just gonna be water. And that's it. <laughs> color I don't know yet well it's not right there we go
And then we're going to have the sky. We will also have a color gradient, of course. Also, I made the horizon curved because, well, first of all, that's you know realistic. If you like, you, yeah, well, just the curvature of the planet. But also, it gives it a bit of an extra distant feeling. Like you look so far into the distance that. The horizon is starting to bend. Here the horizon won't really matter because it's just going to be painted over with white, mostly. From all the clouds in the distance. So, what shall I work at first? The whale or the clouds? Well, let's start with the clouds. Some happy little clouds, yes. You got it. to think of what could I talk about what has happened recently but there hasn't really been a lot just me mostly playing video games it's just yeah great um, the only really productive thing that I made it was to make a spreadsheet of my income because I have income from so many different places that I need to have some organization. And so uh, I collected all of the data, tried to make more sense of it. it will come in handy at some point. So when I paint these clouds, I should make sure that they don't look too organized. Like they all follow this exactly the same curvature and have the same pattern and all that stuff. Nah, that kind of looks unnatural. So here and there, there will be some gaps in those clouds. Because again, it's gonna mix it up a little here and there. 
Even little productivity is productivity, yes. It, I mean, yeah, but still, I should do more. But yeah. At least I finished now a game or a game series actually that I wanted to finish for quite a while. But haven't done so because um, I started to play that game with somebody else and that somebody else is not available anymore. Uh, and so it, that game has just been sitting around on my PC for the longest time and I just I just wanted to be done with it and just okay game is done never have to think about it ever again and just delete it off my of my PC so I did that again Well, in addition, well, I could say also what what game series I've been talking about. It just being so vague, nobody knows what the what the hell I'm even talking about. Uh, I've been playing Divinity, Divinity Original Sin One and Two, and that's those are games that take a while. Those are RPG games. Also not the fastest paced RPG games, because they're turn based. Um, and there's a lot of uh, to explore in those kind of games. So it takes a while. But it has been really enjoyable. Then I played also a little bit of the new Mario Golf game um, that came out, when was it, on Friday last week or something like that. And that was fun for a while because the for a solo player and I'm mostly just able to play solo player because nobody else has the game. That I know of. Um, <clears throat> for solo players, there's just the adventure mode, and the adventure mode mm, it doesn't really have a lot in there. I finished it very quickly. And yeah, it also wasn't really the most exciting. Some words are, were kind of neat, but yeah. I 
And then there's pretty much nothing else for solo players. You, then you just play some normal um, rounds, some normal 18 holes, and, and you know, just play the courses, and that's it. And you can collect character points, I suppose, but it's not really all that exciting. But there's not really anything else for you to do in solo player after you're done with the adventure mode. Because once you're done, you also you already have <coughs> unlocked all the courses. There's nothing left to unlock. Nothing left to do, no challenges really. And yeah. You're just done. Unless you have some friends to play with. Oh well. So, I'm so trying to establish some gaps in these clouds. And with this one, I have to be careful not to overdo it with details, because I basically have a bunch of tiny cumulus clouds now. And I could spend forever putting more details on them, so I, I gotta make sure that I am doing like shading and st stuff like that very quickly. Even if it may look a bit sloppy, but I'm not gonna waste like 10 hours just for these clouds' details. That's, that's not worth it. And I recently also finished the, the painting that I did, I think, last stream, or was it the stream before that? The, the painting with the waterfall and that took way too long that took I completely overdid it with that one and just it's just not worth it it's just I gotta learn to avoid putting too much detail into these paintings and, and I still suck at it and doing these speed paintings is also supposed to be kind of a way to get used to that but still sometimes sometimes yeah so I also want to make sure that the cloud density around the wheel is still high enough so we don't we cannot really see underneath it also don't want to make it too obvious like all of a sudden there's this little cloud this weird cloud density around the whale and no nowhere else so okay it's for the basic like layout for the for the clouds themselves Let's go for the whale, shall we? Now I'm thinking... Um, am I going to give the... The whale some special colors? Or is it just gonna be black and white? Like in nature. I need dinner, alright. Have a nice dinner time.
so. Oops. Well, I'm just gonna start painting with one color and then we'll see. Then we'll see. Also, I'm trying to get used to paint uh, not just landscapes, but also, you know, creatures like animals, like orcas and stuff like that, without outlines, which I'm not really used to, so we'll see how that will go. There will be also another cloud layer in front of the in front of the worker. I could also experiment around and just give the orca a different kind of pattern. But I think I'm just gonna stick to the to the normal one for the most part at least.
for it and then we're gonna have He's making so much noise. Choosing a different color to distinguish it for now. So, and this kind of cloud trail that will be left behind by the fins here is gonna get thicker and thicker. towards the bottom. Like it's thinning out the longer it follows the trail. And there are probably also gonna be some some cloud trails here and there following the body. Thing out like swoosh. There are some clouds flying around and swoosh swoosh. We'll see how I will do that. Composition wise, it's not too bad at this point. Let's see. Just naming some some layers to keep everything organized. How is Hoppy doing? In the chair. Where are you? Still under the chair. What are you thinking down there? Beautiful kitty meow. <sighs> All right, now let's see. Let's give the cloud some shading, some a bit more detail. 
but not too much. Let's not overdo it. I feel like I'm still taking way too long, but uh, I need a 
faster method for painting these clouds. Welcome back, Lucid. What you got for dinner? Cheese and biscuit. Well, sounds good. kind of biscuit. I remember the long discussions in other streams about what is considered a biscuit and what's a cookie. So at this point I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Oat cakes, huh? Sounds healthy. It's good. That's very good. And so you said you picked up your, your hobbies again this week. What kind of hobbies? Is painting among them or something else creative?
Finished up the painting. Nice. I made some cookies today. Nice. Double nice. That is awesome. And I would love to see some pictures of both. Not demanding them right now, of course. At some point. Does your painting involve clouds again? Or did you go for some other kind of motif? Made sure to take pictures. Nice. Awesome. Looking forward to see those. I assume you will post them on Instagram and Discord and stuff. So we'll keep an eye out. Having done another painting that took me basically forever, like in the past, has showed me even clearer again that I don't really enjoy making paintings that take so freaking long. And then also just completely disappear in... like completely get ignored, nobody really cares about them. Just post them and... Yeah. Nobody sees how many hours I put into it compared... And in the meantime, like some speed paints that took a fraction of the time are way more popular. And so it's just... Of course, it's not about that. It's not about that gratifications, but it is a factor for me if I... You know, I try to be professional and... Do the social media game. So it's not just for me personally more rewarding to have speed pain so I'm able to finish them in a short amount of time and I already can see the results after a few hours and and get the feeling of having finished something whereas with paintings that t take freaking forever it, it takes also freaking forever to get to that point where you get that feeling that that feeling of having finished finished something of it, having achieved something there's that personal <sighs> factor <sighs> But also, you know, social media points and whatnot are, are also a factor. And doing like five speed paints instead of one large one pays off so much more. Like, if there is a speed paint that mostly just gets ignored, then eh, whatever. It didn't take all that long. But if you took like 20 hours or more, and nobody cares. It feels a bit defeating. It shouldn't. It, sh it shouldn't matter. <laughs> but... Yeah, it's still... It sucks.
Let's see. Oh, well, once content does is a strange thing. Yeah. There have been often at times where I thought, okay, this painting looks really neat and I'm sure it will get, like, a, there will be a lot of people who are gonna like it too. And then basically nothing happens. And then there is a painting that, uh, whatever, I, I, I just call it done, put it on, just upload it and, and be done with it and get moving to the next one, sorry. And then all of a sudden it does really, really well. I'm like, okay. It's, it's a weird thing. Also, I have to excuse myself because all of a sudden I really, really need to visit a certain place. So we'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Yes. Okay. While I was sitting on the toilet, I also was able to think of some topics. Since we're, we've been talking about it, um, I can share my experience actually with, with social media, with different social media and how they worked for me slash didn't work for me. Maybe that's interesting. And Kitty's gone. Kitty's not interested. Okay. Got it. I'm gonna go outside. Do you remember how to open the door? I'm just sitting in front of it, perplexed. I've had the door open for a long time, just because uh, recently it got cooler again. Well, it was really, really hot a couple of days ago, and um, if I have the door closed, it gets really stuffy in here. Even though, like, I'm not consuming more air than before. But just, uh, I needed to have a bit more volume of air to kind of even it out a bit more, and so I had the door open. And uh, while it's cooler, I want to have the door open so I can let the air circulate, not circulate, and flow through my apartment so it cools down quicker. And now the door is closed again because I'm streaming, and so Kitty is confused. <laughs> How to use it? How to use it again? How to open it? Well... She'll have to figure it out or she won't be able to get out. That's just how it works. Sorry, kitty. I'm a bit strict about those sort of things. If kitty doesn't figure it out, it will have to figure it out at some point by itself. Well, sometimes I help it out, but... I'm not gonna go ahead and open the door for the kitty all the all the time. That's that's then then she is gonna expect me to do that, and especially won't uh, won't take the effort to open the door by herself. That's mm, that's counterproductive. So yeah. But anyway, social media. <sighs> so, it's kind of crazy how different my experiences were so far with different social media. You would think like, uh, they're roughly about the same. Not really, actually. Um, let's go maybe... Um, Chronologically. So I started with Facebook actually. Even before I started um, starting my, my YouTube show and everything, I just posted my art on Facebook. I'm gonna say straight ahead Facebook sucks. It just sucks. It sucks. So I had an artist page, and nothing happened over there. Not a damn thing. The only followers I had, that I had were a few friends and family members, and that's it. There is no way to get more exposure in some kind of way through an algorithm or something like that. Groups is are a mystery to me. Some say they, they get successful with groups, with Facebook groups, but they all freaking suck. And they have so much spam in them. I That must be a freaking lie what they're, they're saying, I don't know. You see, you see that as, as, uh, as advice so often. You post your art and post your stuff on Facebook groups. 
there are a lot of people and they're gonna like your stuff and blah 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 and it's just no not at all actually nobody cares it's just a lot of spam and everybody trying to promote their stuff and there and that's it that's that's all that happens there's nobody going around there and actually want to find some stuff it's just a bunch of people trying to promote their own artworks and videos and whatnot so I never really made any good experiences with uh, Facebook and back then when the news came out about Cambridge Analytica and all of these scandals that was it for me. That was the point where I just completely lost my patience with Facebook and I already hated it beforehand and then that just... No, and ever since then I don't use Facebook at all, not even for normal social media. So, yeah. Facebook sucks. Uh, Twitter. Twitter is not really all that great for artists. And if you don't really have... Well, Twitter is... Yeah, Facebook does suck, yeah. Twitter is better for for meme stuff or for political stuff or comedy stuff or something like that that's what it's good for that's what gets the 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 retweets and whatnot and just play normal art nobody really cares over there YouTube video especially, nobody cares, it's just, pfft, whatever, stuff like that never gets retweeted. So Twitter for me is actually not really helpful and the only reason why I still use it is because there are a lot of cool people over there and uh, I like seeing their, their tweets from certain streamers and YouTubers and, and, and other artists and whatnot. Um, it's, it's, it's a neat way to see what they're up to and also get updates of their stuff. So yeah. But yeah, it was not really helpful so far for me. Then, oh, which one should should be the next? Same here with Twitter. Don't use it that often either. Yeah. Uh, on Twitter, I have been stuck on the same follower count for years at this point. With some fluctuations, but it gives you an idea of... ...of how successful or unsuccessful I was on Twitter. Uh, then there's Twi uh, DeviantArt, and DeviantArt uh, is a long history. So, actually... Um, before, now that I think of it, before I used Facebook, I actually used uh, DeviantArt uh, because of an ex uh, all the way back then. And she said, why, why don't you make a DeviantArt account? Would be cool and you make nice art and so you could post it over there. And so I did. And that was an old account that I deleted after breaking up with her for probably obvious reasons and then a while later I made a new account and that was still on the old design of DeviantArt so DeviantArt a few years ago got bought by a different company and uh, a lot of changes happened um, 
Well, and a lot of people are not very happy with those changes. And I'm also not really all that happy with them. I'm gonna be honest. So back then... I was doing okay on DeviantArt because mostly because of um, groups. You were able to post stuff on groups and uh, there were all sorts of uh, different kind of groups special specialized on different things like there were a dozen of groups just for tutorials, for drawing tutorials and so yeah I was posting in those and in and, and other places too and like there were all sorts of fandom groups and it was very active it was a neat place I mean DeviantArt has its weirdness and it's that's what DeviantArt is especially famous for with, with like weird OCs and fetish art and you know <sighs> And yes, there's a lot of it. I do not deny it. It's it's a weird place. If you go on the front page and look for the most popular art recently posted, you're gonna see a lot of weird stuff. Not gonna lie. Um, but that's not all what DeviantArt is about. So, for example, on my feed, I don't really see any of this weird art at all. Simply because it's adjusted to what I want to see. And so it, it knows that I don't want to see fetish stuff, and so it just doesn't show it to me. <laughs> Got spooked away from DeviantArt at first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's... It's it's a scary place at first, but it's act it's actually pretty okay. It's it's totally fine. You just need to ignore that stuff and uh, better don't go on the popular art page. Just avoid that. Just get your recommendations and tell the algorithm uh, if you see something that you don't want to see. Um, but yeah, so the old DeviantArt um, basically had a very active community and I myself was not really active in any kind of DeviantArt communities, not, not really, um, but it also was, you know, it was kind of nice to see um, people having a, a fun over there and it was harmless it was nice people were nice to each other that's the thing also DeviantArt has some uh, of the nicest communities or at least had when you post art it's very rare that, that you get harassed for it that you get some mean comments or something like that uh, for the vast majority of times you get nice comments and compliments and hey this looks cool and I like this and I like this and that makes me think of this and and so on and so forth and it's, just, it's nice it's actually a bit too nice even because this is pretty much all the feedback you get and so you don't really get any constructive feedback that helps you improve it's just people tell you 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 do everything perfectly all the time it's just, it's just it's 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 not very good for if you want to improve your art but yeah so as I said at some point, DeviantArt got bought by some kind of web service, web browser, I don't know, what, whatever it is. Some kind of service that also hosted a bunch of other uh, websites, it seems. And then it also changed quite a lot. It changed its, its look and its structure. And ever since then, the community very much died. I even made some polls over there to ask the people 
how they feel about the changes and uh, like overall if they feel like the community has been the same still or it's just pretty much died and the vast majority said that yeah ever since it has changed there's not really much going on anymore and so at this point it just posts some art and gets consumed by people and a lot of old uh, old deviant artists have left at this point and I don't know but it's still helpful for me because instead of the groups helping me which now are very inactive um, the algorithm helps me sometimes sometimes and only for specific stuff like it helped me with my landscapes and stuff like that with my speed paintings but it doesn't do anything for my tutorials or stuff like that so it's it's I have very mixed feelings about DeviantArt. Would I recommend it if you want to post art? Um, yes, it's just for posting art. It's still one of the best places though, that's the thing. And that makes me segue to the next one. So I also tried ArtStation, a different place for posting your art. And that has a much more professional feel to it. And it feels kind of like too professional, where it's basically a platform for making your portfolios uh, so that you can show it when you apply for a job or something like that. Or if you want to sell some some assets, stuff, something like that. Um, and yeah, you barely see any like, kind of beginner art. So if you're just starting out and you want to post art over there, that's not really the best place for you because then you just you're just going under it's just you will be completely ignored it doesn't really have any sort of community I've been there for a while at this point and I posted a bunch of stuff and I haven't received a single comment ever Ever. like nobody cares nobody wants to interact with you it's just again it's very consuming it's like consuming art based and nothing really else and it also hasn't really helped me the way I use ArtStation for the most part is actually to promote my tabletop tokens because um, a lot of times when people search for those kind of things like they want to have an elf ranger token and they're just most of the time gonna type it into Google and not directly into DeviantArt or ArtStation or search for it on Twitter or something like that. Nobody does that. They type it in, into Google and then over there in the Google image search they find my stuff. And a lot of times they find the link to my ArtStation post or my DeviantArt post. But also ArtStation is doing a lot in that regard and so that's how i use it for the most part is to get exposure through google primarily yeah if it works well then there's also 
Instagram. And uh, Instagram is it's I get very mixed feelings. So for artists themselves, Instagram is kind of meh. I heard a bunch of times that Instagram is actually the best platform nowadays for posting art and getting exposure and blah blah and whatnot. I haven't really felt any of that. And I'm doing the, all the tips and all the, the Instagram... Like I'm following the Instagram rules and add hashtags and blah blah and whatnot. What I mostly earned from adding those hashtags and, and whatnot was getting a lot of spam. Great. <laughs> and that's it, basically. I feel like most of my uh, most of the people that follow me on Instagram have found me through other platforms and saw okay oh he also has Instagram all right I'm gonna follow him over there too and yeah that's it it's the main thing I've noticed with hashtags yeah yeah it's just promote your art on blah 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 and you get that several times in almost the exact same wave and it's just it's so obviously some bots spamming you <laughs> yes exactly always things like promoted on art pyramid scheme yes you will get a lot of clicks and you get successful in no time <sighs> Probably gonna give up and stop using those hashtags altogether because it's just pointless. But again, it's kind of similar to Twitter. I still like using Instagram because there are also other people who post stuff over there that's interesting to me. And people I actually also know, like there are some friends and family uh, that use Instagram. So it's kind of like a, a light version of, of Facebook 2 in a way. Just mainly picture based. So you don't have all of that political stuff being posted by people who know what, uh, who, who think they know what you're talking about. So yeah, I, I use it for, for getting, you know, pet pictures, like pictures of cats and stuff. Um, or crafting stuff, or other people's art. It's nice to see. To learn related, but really, uh, really exciting for you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm also getting excited. Game Maker Studio 2 just went free. Ooh. That is cool. I haven't made any personal experiences with Game Maker, but more tools for for people to get creative and make more games and, and stuff. That's all. That's always great. So then, are you gonna grab it? Are you? Uh, do you want to make something with it? Do you have some plans? So of course you still have to pay for license if you want to publish anything, yeah. Makes sense. But you can make full use of the software tools, yeah. That's awesome.
With publishing, I am suppose I, I guess you mean when you publish something and you want to sell it. Like if you if you publish something for free, then should be fine. Not purchasing a license, right? Gone are the days of continuously renewing free trials. <laughs> ah, that's I see. That's good. That can be obnoxious. So yeah, I know that you want to get into the game design industry, um, but I don't know many details about it. What, like, are there some certain companies or at least some kind of uh, game genres that you are interested in, like you want to design for? Or like certain positions, like you want to do level design, or you want to um, be more active in, in gameplay uh, design, or I don't know. I don't really know all that much about how uh, the game industry works, I'm gonna be honest. But, but I'm interested in it. <clears throat> Is it starting to crack? Gravitating towards level or environment design. Oh, cool. A friend of mine is actually in the, R, uh, in the game industry and also, as far as I know, does level design stuff. That's cool. It's a thing that I am always interested in in what my friend does in the gaming industry. But the problem is always that she's not really allowed to talk about it. Because, you know, it's just company secrets and however you want to call it. And I'm not gonna make her talk about it and then mm, get into potential troubles although I wouldn't blare everything out I would still keep it secret but yeah so I have a lot of questions and and I'm very interested in it but cannot get a lot of information unfortunately maybe maybe even in sound design oh that's also cool so, yeah, I mean, that's just how it is. At least I know that um, she enjoys her work. That, <laughs> that she is allowed to say, and that's great. I am very happy for her. I imagine working for a smaller studio, like an indie game studio, is much more comfortable, like, I don't know, working for EA or Ubisoft or, I don't know, one of those super huge AAA game studios that, I don't know how, has, I don't know how many freaking employees. Working in the studio would, of course, be a dream. Hmm. I'm sure you can achieve that dream. You're studying hard to get over there. Get to that point. At some point, that effort ought to 
pay off. Also, I can I can clearly tell that you love indie games for your streams. So yeah, would be very neat. Um, speaking of indie games, I have <clears throat> sorry, I have seen a an indie game on another person's stream that seemed to be really interesting and kind of like perfect for me. If I recall correctly, it's called Ch uh, Chicory, uh, a colorful something, colorful world, or something like that. My memory is terrible as always, but basically, chicory. Oh, okay, you heard of it? Oh, perfect. <laughs> um, so it's basically a game where you paint, and that's mostly it. Uh, there are some kind of mechanics that give you some actual gameplay instead of just painting stuff. Um, and so from the the short amount of time that I've, I've watched that video game, it's has left a very good impression on me. Um, the music is fantastic. The compo uh, they have the composer of um, Celeste. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> New City, yeah, exactly. Um. The art looks very, very cute, and I'm all for cute stuff. The story seems also interesting, and gives me a little bit of Undertale vibes. Like, it, it's very cute and everything, but it has this kind of dark undertone, and I feel like if you get further into the game, you will get really invested into it. It has a, a lot of very charming characters, and yeah, I would love to play it. So I already added it to my uh, wish list, and when it gets on sale at some point, um, we'll probably grab it and play it on stream. That's the plan. I'm gonna assume that I will be able to somehow also play it on my drawing screen, so I can actually use my pen to paint and stuff. So we'll have an advantage. And speaking of painting in video games, um, at some point I also would like to play Okami on stream. I already finished it like twice or three times already in my life and I really really love that game. And I would like to play it someday on, on stream and 
maybe try to combine it with my drawing screen again so I can actually paint on the screen. As far as I remember, I tried it a while ago, but it didn't quite work out. But I think I had some other idea to make it work better. But I'm not exactly sure. We will see. But of course, before that, there's still gonna be one shot that I wanna play. I'm, I'm not in a hurry to play Okami. Because it hasn't been that long ago that I finished it again. So there can be a bit more time in between. Right now, it's a bit too fresh still. False alarm. Oh, the where's kitty? Outside, probably. Yeah. Oh, over here. Under the table again. Poco, what are you doing over there? Here. How about I take a kitty break because I've been going for a while already? So as I said before, it also has been pretty hot over here, although right now it has calmed down and has gotten a bit cooler again. Poco has been doing okay during this weather. Fortunately, it doesn't get that hot in here in my apartment. That's the upside of having basically no direct sunlight over here. So there's at least that. And also... Uh, the old building that I live in, that has brick walls and stuff, it's actually better at insulating than modern, cheap apartment buildings that that are super crappy. Like, I hear from a, a couple of friends of mine who live in one of these apartment buildings, or one of these new ones, and they are boiling in there. And, yeah, it's just... I still don't understand why 
architects still build that way that they're just trying to be as cheap as possible no good insulation no solar cells or any sort of optimization no just cheap materials and go and be done with it it's just uh just try to be at least a bit smarter about it and it's actually gonna pay off you will have way less energy consumption you will actually generate energy if you use solar cells and it just, over, over the long run it pays off it makes sense but still they are in this weird mindset that they just gotta build as cheap as possible and that's the way to go like it was during the Cold War. That's just... Uh. But anyways, I'm ranting a little bit too much again. I was talking about Hoku. Uh. Getting on these tangents again. So Hoku has been doing okay. Um, The only interesting new thing that happened recently was um, yesterday, she actually slept in the bed together with me the whole time. So normally what she does is she gets, so I lie down in bed and then she comes to me uh, right as I um, try to fall asleep and she cuddles with me and then purrs like crazy. And then after a few minutes she, uh, she runs away again and just is somewhere else in the apartment, but not in the bed. And then when I wake up in the morning at some point, or it's or it see, uh, uh, sorry, or it seems like I'm waking up, um, then she also comes to uh, to my bed and wants to cuddle, but also again just for a short amount of time. But while I'm actually sleeping, she. Is, is normally never in the bed. Probably because I'm just moving too much and it's, it's just simply bothering her. I can understand why. But yesterday she just basically stayed almost all the whole time in the bed with me. It was cute. I enjoy her company. But I don't think it will become a habit. I, I think it should just should just try it out. And in the long run she's still gonna stay at other places while asleep. You're so pretty. Yum yum, so pretty. How have your pets been doing during the during the heat wave? From what I've heard, it's also much cooler over there in the in the UK, right? At least I think Clip has mentioned some. Well, like you actually mentioned. My memory is so terrible again. I don't remember who said what at what point. <sighs> But it seems like you had you had your thunderstorm, and that thunderstorm moved over to us, and so we had it basically yesterday.
to think of it I keep on forgetting that I could do some more interesting stuff during the kitty breaks I have snacks I have to toys so why not use it so let me grab something real quick to mix it up a little bit and not just sit around during the kitty breaks all the time let's see how about some snacks for a change? There are still some that we need to use up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. What is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. What is that? Let it not get so hot, huh? Snacks. Yes. Is that a snack? No. <laughs> Is that a snack? Mm -hmm. Yes. You want some? Being weird again. So. She can't really do any tricks. I never taught her any, so. Gonna be the most special snack time, but. See that? Oh. You know it's over there. You have to get it. No, don't clean yourself now. You're so lazy. Come get it over there. Ah, oh, cool. Ah. Look, there. Look, put it over here. Pop it. Pop it. I dropped it. Where is it? Ugh. Too small. It's lost forever. Okay. Look, over here. Okay. Now it's over here. See it? Have to have to stand up. Yeah. Raise up your butt in order to get it. I know I ask a lot of you. But it's not that hard, I promise. <laughs> Come on. 
Oh, Brands. Yeah, put it over here. It's a bit further away. Ooh, we moved a little. Amazing. And now we put it up here. Aha, aha. Now there we go. Now she's climbing. And now I put it over here. Ooh, now you're moving. Amazing. And now we put it down here again. She's got to work at least a little bit for it. Don't be that lazy. Hmm? Such a good kitty. Such a good kitty. Look at how good she is. Precious little kitty meow. Give you a few for the last bunch. Come. Doop, doop, doop. Okay, enjoy. That's it. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Here, eat the rest. Come. Did she, did she sit on it? There's still one left. Coco. What is she doing here? Oh, yeah, little butt. What are you doing? Mm. Yum, yum. You wanted to follow me, huh? Continue. Now it's cleaning time. Cleaning time, yes. Oh, Hoko. Can be so silly. <sighs> My antivirus being annoying. 
No, I don't want to upgrade. Alright. Hmm. Now she's posing so pretty. So pretty and whacking around her tail. Whack, whack. Oh yeah, some other good news, um, my mother messaged me pretty recently telling me that she got her first jab, so that's awesome. And she also said that in August she's gonna get her second one, and then she'll be fully immunized. I'm very happy for her. Yeah, it's good news. And also, she didn't really have any side effects after getting the first jab, so that's also extra good. We still have to wait for the second one, and the second one is normally the one that hits pretty hard for some people. But still, we're not really worrying about that all too much. I myself haven't really gotten any news. <laughs> Weirdly enough, they, they sent me an email that... What, what, what did it say again? That 31 to 39 year olds can get vaccinations without getting... Without an appointment or something like that. And that great, I'm 30. Why are you telling me that? I know it's just one year apart, but still, I'm just 30, I'm not okay.
pretty sure I entered my information correctly. Things are... Things are not looking too bad over here. The overall vaccination rates are also decent. Were they again like... About like 40 to 50% or something like that of the general population. No, over 50% over actually. Has gotten their first... Uh, first vaccine. And about, like, I think more than 30% or almost 30% are fully vaccinated or something like that. Well, that's alright. In my age group, it's the numbers are looking differently, of course. But, yeah, still. Oh yeah, there was also, there were actually a couple of new updates for Clip Studio. And some of the new features are actually pretty neat. So I got quite excited about them. And one of the big new features are brushes that have basically two different um, um, like two different tip textures or however you would describe it. So basically you apply a lot of pressure and it the brush has a certain shape and then you slowly lower the pressure and it transitions over to another shape that you can define. And that is really cool for achieving some pretty neat effects. Like for example a brush um, that dries out uh, uh, the less pressure you apply and so you can get a very neat kind of realistic look uh, realistic look um, with it like if I can kind of demonstrate it um, one of the neatest ones was like I think it is this one yeah Get bigger like this one here for example the, which feels really nice now for for kind of establishing uh, some kind of calligraphy style 
I'm doing this very sloppy right now, but... We get the drift. Um... Is it this one? No. But there are also were some kind of watercolor-like brushes that feel really nice now. I think I have it somewhere else now. Over here. Can't remember where I put them. I have too many brushes. They are trying. I think this one here. Can you can kind of see it when I apply only very little pressure? It has this very dry texture to it that barely makes anything. But I apply a lot of pressure, it presses out a lot of ink. It's cool. It's neat. I haven't really done all that much with it. But at some point I want to check out the, the, the shop and see if there are some neat brushes, some new brushes that use that sort of function that other people made. Those ones that have are just the default ones that Clip Studio got. So yeah, uh, where was I at there? I don't really know if Clip Studio came up with that feature by themselves or that was already a thing in some other kind of software and they just simply copied it. But whoever came up with it, they're smart.
Kitty still here. Very sleepy. Being sleepy. Mm -hmm.
ッキュッキリです I've been lurking while in nap. All right, have a good nap. I'm sorry that the music is not the most relaxing. Well, although I could just change it. It'd be good to mix it up. At some point again. Uh. Oh, we have the chill music.
Now that I think of it, I forgot something. I forgot to do the time lapse to, to turn it on. Well, for this one, there will be no time lapse then. That's okay. That is okay. All right, I'm actually kind of pleased with how the clouds are turning out, especially the, the ones at the far back. And it looks neat. the ones that are a bit further at the front I'm not too satisfied with yet and then of course are uh, the splash clouds would call them are still missing and of course shading and everything for the whale. During that we're getting we're getting somewhere. So how about another kitty break?
Alright, let's get back to it. Cool. There's nothing back there. Oh, cool. Can't.
Oh well. Let's see what I can do with those clouds, the front.
Spoko. A jak już Andrzej ty...
Alright, I'm getting close to being done. As often, I'm gonna add a little vignette effect. gonna keep it very subtle. of detail work here and there. Again, the clouds at the front still look a bit messy to me. I gotta say, this kind of painting was very enjoyable. Once, especially once I got more to the background and was able to work on the whale. It was quite neat. stay down here.
Miam miam. Hmm. Okay, let's Let's call it here. I could keep on and on trying to correct some details here and there, but that's not the point of a speed paint. So, that's it. There's nothing really else that needs to be done. As I said before, I keep it minim minimalistic, so it's just the clouds, just the sky, and just the whale. Like how it turned out. So yeah. And how long have I been streaming? Three and a half hours. That's that's all right. I don't really know how it how long exactly this painting took me just now. I could like estimate like minus one hour of my total streaming time and that would be maybe the total painting time. Oh, there is something I can do. Okay, okay. Light reflections. Or the whale. That would be something. Yeah, that definitely has been missing.
good at the thought of it. <coughs> Sorry, Hoko. You're back. Hang on. Right. It's very subtle, but adds a lot to the three dimensionality. Not quite too happy with the sky. Let's blur it a little bit. So, I could have given the, the cloud structure a bit more curves, it looks a bit too linear, but other than that, it looks alright. Okay. Now I should be done. If there is something else... And I will correct it off stream. And now we're done. Okay. Well, and that's also pretty much it for the stream. Kitty is also here with us. Yeah. I'm also getting kind of sleepy. It has been a very calm stream. That's alright. So... I don't see any raid targets, so I'm just gonna say goodbye for now. I think. Um, yeah, I mean... As always, updates on Discord and also on Twitter, but Discord is the best place. And I don't exactly know when the next time is gonna be when I stream, but maybe Saturday, next Saturday. We'll see. Alright. <laughs>